So I've printed it out just to make it a little bit clearer. This question was posted on the r slash math subreddit a few years ago. And the problem is, if the answer is 25%, then the probability of picking that is 50%. But if the answer is 50%, then the probability of picking that is only 25%. So we just end up in this never ending loop going between is the answer 25%, is it 50%? So maybe the answer is 60%. Well, if you think about it for long enough, then it's pretty clear to see that the answer is actually none of these. And I'll show you that with a table. The problem is we should have four options with each of the options being 25%. But because two of the options are the same, then we actually have three options with one of them being 50%, one of them being 25 and the other being 25. Now the option that is 25% is 60%. And then 50% we have 25%. And then another 25% we have is 50%. So the question really is asking, which of these is the same? Which on the left is equal to the one on the right? And the answer is actually none of these. 25% is not equal to 60, 50% is not equal to 25%, and 25% is not equal to 50. This is why you get this looping around of 50 to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 25, and it just keeps looping around. None of them are the same, so none of them are the answer. So this entire question can actually be reworded to what percentage has the equal probability of picking it as the answer itself, okay? So what that means is, is the percentage 25 equal to the probability that you're gonna pick 25? If the answer is no, then it's not that answer. We can eliminate 60, we can also eliminate 25 again, and we can eliminate the 50 because there's not a 50% chance of picking it. Another way you can manipulate this question is if there were only three options, A, B, and C, and two of those options were 66%, and one of those options was 33%. If you pick 33% to be your answer, then you would be correct because there's a 33% chance that you would pick 33%. But if you were to pick 66% to be your answer, you would also be correct. And this one would also be correct because there's a 66% chance that you'll pick 66. So in this case, because all of the options have the same probability of picking it as the probability itself, it's all correct. Now you might be thinking, what was the point in this video? And there's actually a very useful reason behind this video that I haven't told you yet. And that is that Terence Tao has just started a new YouTube channel and he's got less subscribers than me. So you should all go and subscribe to Terence Tao and tell him that I sent you. Like, comment, subscribe and piss off.